Welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to transform the exterior of your houses so they change from something like this to something a bit like this. I'm going to give you tips and build ideas and little tricks you can do along the way. Let's get into it. Adding a simple window box like this adds so much to your build. Just lay the grass, some trapdoors and flowers of your choice on the top. Plant pots or planters with flowers or bushes in make your entrance a lot more inviting. Don't be afraid to terraform. Changing the shape and the height of the land around your build actually can make a huge difference to the overall outcome. You can see the difference that's made already. Adding in little walls can make borders and separations in your exterior. Also making them different heights and out of different blocks adds something to the texture of the build as well. When making pathways, add in some texture using a different type of block. It adds a bit more to the pathway and gives the overall build a better look. Make a freshly mowed lawn by adding strips of moss and grass like so. How cute! Use bone meal on moss and grass. It makes the moss spread and the grass sprout grass and flowers. You can make hedgerows using zalia bushes and have fun with it. You can add the zalia bush with moss on top and do them all at different heights. And you can also add moss carpet on top as well to give it a little bit of height and texture. Having a pond in your exterior is a great way to add life into your build. I'm making this just digging a random shape. I'm adding in some mossy cobblestone to add texture into the bottom along with coarse dirt. But just have fun, have a play and use textures you want and then fill in it with water, just like so. I'm adding in some sea pickles so there is light inside the pond. I'm then going to go ahead and bone meal the inside of the pond and all around the pond as well. I'm placing down mossy cobblestone and leaves and fences and just as much um, random blocks as possible to add detail into the build because detail is key. When using items that grow like bamboo, you can place string on top of it to stop it growing at a level so you can have the levels of the plant at whatever level you want them to be. I'll just finish the pond off with some lily pads. Perfect. Putting seating in the exterior of your build is a great addition to it. And here's how to make a little bench. Place down three slabs with trapdoors on the back and signposts on the end. And you've got the cutest little bench. You can build these charming little planters. It's really simple. Add down a composter, fill it with leaves or whatever you want until it's just about to pop out the bone meal. Add on a fence post and two leaves and you've got yourself a lovely little planter. Alternatively, you could build it without the fence post or even use a barrel as the base. A miniature well is a great addition to any build and it fits in gardens, towns, farms, anywhere really. Just place down a cauldron, fill it with water, surround it by upside down stairs, add some fence posts on the side and on the top add a trapdoor, a half slab and a trapdoor. Don't forget on the middle of the half slab to bring down chains to go into the water. Done. Perfect. This build idea is for some decking with a built-in barbecue and fire pit.
Let's go ahead and decorate the deck in. Custom trees always look great in a garden. You can do these by using fence posts going up, going out into different directions. Do it randomly so each tree looks slightly different. You can choose your leaves that you'd like to use. I'm going to use zalea leaves. I'm going to use the plain ones and the flowered ones and put them in in a textured way. I just really like the look of this type of tree. The addition of normal trees also is a great idea to decorate your space. A flower bed is a great way to bring your garden to life. You can do this by walling off an area, add in some grass, some dirt, coarse dirt, all at different levels. Put on top of that flowers and grass. I'm using tall grass and I'm using flowers of different heights to give it a better look. And then finally add onto the wall some plants and some little lanterns. Make your area mob spawn proof by adding light in. If you place frog lights, glowstone, sea lanterns or shroom lights on the ground, they will give some source of light. If you cover that with a moss carpet, you won't be able to see the light. It will look like it is grass, but it will light up the area at night. A fountain is another great idea for the exterior garden of your build. Here is a little build idea you can copy or design your own. Add lanterns around your build in random places. Placing buttons along pathways can really add to the build. They look like little stones and as we said earlier, detail is key. Add flowers around your build, on the grass and in pots. And do the same with leaves. And that is our finished build. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on future Minecraft tutorials and build ideas. Happy building!